They landed with visions of beers and brats and lederhosen, and instead they got whiskey and haggis and kilts. Passengers on a flight to Dusseldorf, Germany, thought it was a bad joke when the captain of a British Airways flight said, welcome to Edinburgh. Only this wasn't a gag. The flight not only landed at the wrong airport in the wrong country, but went basically in the totally wrong direction. CNN's resident aviation expert, Richard Quest, is joining me now. Uh, so did they just put the wrong destination into the GPS or what? No, the plane, the pilot intended to go to Edinburgh. The problem was the flight was meant to go to Dusseldorf. The previous night, the flight, the last flight of the day for that aircraft had been to Edinburgh. And somehow WDL Aviation, the private company that's subcontracted to run this flight for BA, somehow they just duplicated the last flight of the night before into the next morning. And when the pilots turned up, they saw Edinburgh, so they flew to Edinburgh. What's not clear is how the passengers... I mean, wasn't any announcement made, the usual, welcome aboard this plane going to Edinburgh? No, apparently not. It was an early morning flight. The pilot wished them well. They got on and it went to Edinburgh instead of... Some passengers did notice. They noticed that they didn't seem to go over any water. They noticed that there were too many mountains. But, no, nope, it went to Edinburgh. You're killing, they didn't, okay. The, I mean, we laugh, right? This is, it's, it's funny. Uh, they got the scenic route, I guess you could say. The question is, is there any safety risk here? Nope. No, okay. No, 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 for one simple reason. This isn't a case of the pilots intending to go to Dusseldorf, but suddenly having to end up in Edinburgh. They intended to go to Edinburgh. So all the flight plan was correct. They were familiar with the airport. They did all the right procedures. So there was no safety risk. This is what we would call in British a classic cock-up. Simple, pure and simple. They managed to make a complete of it. You can get away with saying that, Richard Quest. Um, I wonder, though, what the, so, the, so is it the flight plan is filed, meaning that they're even expected to issue. land in Edinburgh. Uh, were, were they expected to be arriving? Was air yes. traffic control yes. caught off guard? Yes. Okay. No, no, because the flight... Remember, the air traffic control doesn't know where it's supposed to go. It receives a flight plan that's supposed to go to Edinburgh, mm -hmm. and the plane turns up. The issue is as follows. One, why weren't announcements made so that the passengers could have realised? Two, why didn't British Airways notice that one of their planes was going in the wrong direction? They would have known where that plane is supposed to go. And three, how did the flight... Why was there no second um, safety that was, uh, prevented this from happening? It's a extremely embarrassing, but as I say, it doesn't appear to be dangerous. How, I'd love how, to use that word word again, but I'm not going to. You can. No. <laughs> how, how do you make, how do, does British Airways, really any airline learning for this, make sure that something like this doesn't happen again? You look and see what W Dell Aviation, the uh, subcontractors, the wet leasee as they're known, you look and see what they did. And I'm guessing that somewhere right at the very basic level, it will be human cock up. Somebody will not have filled in a form or will have filmed in, filled in the form the wrong way. And you know what it's like? The pilot turns up the next morning, says, oh, I'm going to Edinburgh, puts in the flight plan manually rather than having it downloaded automatically. And the next thing you know, you're going to the wrong airport. And the Passengers are going there too. And you just make the announcement, Richard Quest, as you pointed out, that's very important. Thank you so much, sir.